Uh, we have a special dropping tonight. We came here all the way from Salem. Make some noise for Armando Santoyo! Yo, what's up everybody? So excited to be here. This is a nice place, man. I just took a piss in my urinal that had ice on it. It sounded cool. <laughs> and then, uh, there's a lot of good looking people in here, man. A lot of you guys look like you're way out of my, <laughs> way out of my league. Uh, yeah, man, I'm pretty sure my type's type 2 diabetes. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, if I was type 1 though, none of you guys would stand a chance. <laughs> type 1 always gets the hot people. Type 2 always chases down the fatties. I just gave in. <laughs> yeah man, life's going pretty good, man. Uh, I recently got so high that I forgot I was a parent. Yeah man, I walked out of my room one morning and my kids had a shocked look on their face because I walked out of my chonies. That's <laughs> underwear pe for yeah. the white people. <laughs> yeah, man. I was shocked too though because I forgot it was my week to have them. I thought they were mom this week. Like, oh shit. One well, you guys should fix me up a thing. I mean, I'm holding cereal. Help daddy out. <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I like smoking weed, but I don't like fucking with edibles, because edibles remind me of my drunk stepdad. You never know when they're going to hit you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just sneak up on you. <laughs> Plus, last time I did edibles, I got kicked out of the Denny's. Just like Dad, I ruined the party. <laughs> yeah, man. It was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, I got two kids. Now I know why my dad left. <laughs> Kidding? Um, no, I love my kids, man. I, uh, I have joint custody. I fought for 50-50, you know, because I wanted to abandon them legally half the time. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we, we did it big last year. We took them to Disneyland for the first time. Yeah, yeah. Disneyland people in here? Yeah, man. I don't gotta be the best parent in the whole world. I just gotta be better than mommy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I love Disney, man. I grew up watching Disney. Um, I had a crush on the Little Mermaid, man. Yeah, man. I was into like a half girl, half fish growing up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the whole time I'm like, dude, where do you stick it in a mermaid? Do they have vaginas? Or do you just stick it in the gill? <laughs> Makes sense that it smells like fish, right? No matter what, we're eating tonight. <laughs> we ain't no selfish lovers over here, guys. Dude, guys are gross, right? We're pretty gross. Yeah, we we'll fuck anything. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, uh, actually, I heard the grossest thing. I was hanging out with the boys recently. Yeah, man, and this old man joined our conversation. He said the most disturbing thing I've ever heard anybody describe a vagina. He called it a hatchet wound? <laughs> what the fuck? I've never looked at a hatchet wound and been like, oh my god, I'd hit that. <laughs> or go to somebody and be like, what that hatchet wound do? <laughs> Can you imagine you're having a deal with a girl and she opens up her legs and there's a hatchet wound? She's like, what are you gonna do to me, baby? I don't know, a gauze it up, apply pressure? <laughs> when you said role playing, I didn't think I was gonna be a war medic. I'm out here saving Private Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I'm trying to keep my sex life healthy, you know what I'm saying? But I've been frustrated lately because every time I try to get it on my girl, there's a dog on the other side of the door whining. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a dick. I let her in the room one time, but she licked my butt. <laughs> my daddy does not like that shit. It was not okay. Yeah, man. Dude, in the same fucking week, we're trying to get it on again. And I, I didn't know what it was, but it sounded like a crying baby outside the window. So I go investigate, and when I look down, I made eye contact with two cats that were fucking. <laughs> like, what the? Sorry, kitty. <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, and I realized at that moment, guys, that two cats fucking kind of sounds like Alice in Chains, like rare, 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 
<laughs> now every time I hear a cat whining or my dog whining, I get fucking hard. And that backfired. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of sucks, right? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Facebook is listening to me, though, because uh, I was flipping through the reels, and this video of a horse fucking came up. I'm like, what the fuck, Facebook? And I did what any responsible adult should do. I watched the whole fucking video. This horse, it came, fell over, and passed out. And they gave me hope, guys. So I'm like, dude, I might not be hung like a horse, but I could fuck like a horse. Daddy needs a nap afterwards, you know what I'm saying? We out. <laughs> yeah, so that's how life going. Um, yeah, man, I'm getting out of shape. I'm getting too fat. Uh, I know I'm not looking that good. I was having breakfast with my daughter, and she's like, hey, Dad, I like Justin Timberlake, and I think he's cute. Now, I didn't even know how to respond. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> my wife, to be nice, she's like, you know who I think is cuter than Justin Timberlake? And my daughter's like, who? She's like, your dad. My daughter started laughing so hard, she started choking on her cereal. And I did what any good dad would do, and I let her choke. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are very beautiful guys. They're half white, half Mexican. They have oh. blue eyes, blonde hair. Yeah, I have no dominant genes. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> they came up to me recently like, hey dad, can you teach us Spanish? And I had a look in their blue eyes and I was like, no! And they're like, why not? I was like, because there's nothing more annoying to me than when a white person tries to speak Spanish to me. Honestly, guys, I don't speak Spanish, and I don't want to let them know. That's another reason why I don't read books to them. I don't want them to know I can't read either. Two cats an idiot. <laughs> I'm, at the time, I'm at the part of my life where I look forward to going to work, guys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like my job or anything. I just like taking shits on the clock. That's like the highlight of my day. I take three shits at work. If I didn't go to work, I'd take a shit a week. That's, all, that's what I'm saying, all right? It feels that good, so good, yeah. <laughs> I'm a full-time machinist. A lot of people don't know what that is. Uh, it's not a mechanic. <laughs> that's the whole question I always get. They're like, Mono, can you help me with my car? I was like, dude, I don't do that kind of shit. He goes, well, I heard your people are really good at that shit. <laughs> I looked him in the eyes and I said, hey man, why well, heard your people really good at racist stereotypes? And then I broke into his car. Because <laughs> I know how to do that. <laughs> yeah man, uh, my kids love playing the favorite, which sucks because I always lose that game, guys. I'm not good at that game. Uh, it's hard to tell them that they're both accidents. <laughs> It was fun making you, but that's about it. Um, no, nah, kids are awesome, man. They, 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 they see some crazy ass shit. Uh, they're a reflection of you. And um, I realized that I'm a shitty parent. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, I'm glad to be here tonight. And thanks for uh, Hewitt for having me. You guys have a good night. Thank you for having me.